A hurry to beat the heat first at five temperatures continue to sit around the triple digits in northeast Arkansas. Thank you for joining us. I'm Diana Davis. There are certain times of day when this heat is just unbearable in Brooklyn. The school district is aware of this and tried to help their students. Griffin Demaray caught up with the school and Griffin what did they do? Well, Diana, the, Brooklyn made the decision to let their students out early tomorrow and today in order to get the buses out before the hottest part of the day. As they said, it's just something they felt was right. Well, the air conditioning on these is all the windows. It is safe to say the windows down may not do the trick for children on school buses this week. As temperatures continue to stay in triple digits, schools like Brooklyn decided to let their kids out at 1.30. Uh, between that 3.30 and 5 time seems to be about the worst time, so we decided we could get them home and also offer them water uh, on, the, on the buses to make sure that they're safe. The school said the decision was not because of an incident that was reported, just because they know the dangers of having a child exposed to extreme heat, and they wanted to make sure they were safe. Well, it's going to be uh, even higher on the heat index inside the bus than it is uh, outside of the bus. So well over 100 degrees, the windows are pushed down, but the hot air is blowing through. And while inside the building is fine, going home is what the school district was worried about. Brooklyn has nine bus routes that are air conditioned with newer models, but they have 13 that do not have air conditioning, which played a major role in their decision to let out early. And some of our kids are could be on the bus for an hour and a half or so, so we don't want to uh, risk their health and safety. They are looking to change that, though, as every new bus purchased has air conditioning, and they are even working on installing it in some of their older models. And then Brooklyn will continue to upgrade our fleet. And as we buy new buses in the future, each one of them, of course, has air conditioning. And I just got back from Brooklyn not too long ago where I wanted to go into the bus and see what the temperature would have been like on a day of where they're, they're leaving at like 2.30 or so. And it was 130 degrees. And I know there are people out there saying, well, back in my day, we had no problem and things like that. But either way, it's still just a way to just be safer and not having the kids on there. In the studio, Griffin Demeray, K News.